sorry I haven't done this in a while. Uh, I was doing them every month, wasn't I? And I just really dropped the ball towards the end of last year, so I apologise wholeheartedly. I'm back. Um, I had a good Christmas. My sister came home. It was amazing. Uh, and then January's kind of gone like that. We're in Feb. It's my birthday in a couple of days. 41. You'll remember from last year. Y'all remember from last year. Um, I was in New Zealand for my birthday. This year I'm in Tuscany. So two places that have a piece of my heart. Uh, I'm going to go to a wine tasting event for three days, four days in Tuscany. So it should be good fun. Um, I'm very boozy. Anyway, so this month, uh, I do the wines and I'll tell you a little bit about next month. So anyone who's a member can get excited about next month. Anyone who's not can think about buying wine for next month. Uh, basically, yeah, uh, Sangiovese. So, 100% Sangiovese from uh, Il Civitaio. As you know, uh, you've had the 2013 vintage of this. Gregorio makes an incredible bottle of wine. He ages his Sangiovese for two years in 40 hectolitre oak barrels, so massive oak barrels. And it just sits in there for two years and ages. And then when it comes out, uh, he uses a clay-based product to fine the wine, so basically to clarify the wine. Uh, which means these wines are vegan friendly. So if you're a vegan and you have to red wine, those of you who are looking at the camera or the, sorry, looking at your computer now and going, what are you talking about? All wines are vegan. They're not, unfortunately. Uh, it's all to do with the finding of the wines and clarifications of wines, which I can tell you about, uh, but we won't do that now. I'll do that on a vlog. The questions thing, you all asked me a load of questions a while ago and I didn't answer them. I'll put it in there, I'll tell you about why wines are vegan, why wines are vegetarian, and why some wines are not. Um, but this, as you know, is stunning. Uh, the 2014 vintage is, is exceptionally good considering it was such a bad year in Tuscany. 2013 was a good year in Tuscany. Uh, 2014 was awful. 2015 was amazing. So uh, Gregorio has done what I think only good winemakers can do and that's to make a really good wine from a really bad year. A belter. Um, slow roast pork belly or roast pork with this would be a dream. I did roast veggies tonight and halloumi. Uh, this would go with that. It's a really light 100% Sangiovese, really clean, so just really easy drinking. Um, I absolutely adore it. Give it a whirl. That's a go-to wine, that's an everyday go-to wine. Someone's coming over, you want to impress them with something that's good, um, but if you just want to sit on a Friday and enjoy a bottle of wine, that one. Viognier, as it said on my Instagram post the other day, Viognier. A lot of people avoid this because they don't know how to pronounce it, which is heartbreaking because it's incredible. Uh, as you'll see from the post I did, uh, or if you've heard me talk about this, honeysuckle, um, white stone fruits, so or like peaches, uh, apricots. There's a little tiny bit of herbaceousness in there, but it's just creamy. Don't let it get too cold. It has this wonderful creamy mouthfeel to it. Roast chicken with a family, get a bottle of this open, it will blow your mind. Uh, seafood, maybe there's a, an option to do some seafood with it, it would work with seafood. But absolutely beautiful, it's from Muralia, who we know and love, Stefano, it's just pride and joy, ages it in barrique, French barrique, uh, takes a bit from each one, blends it together and makes the perfect wine. Really, really sumptuously beautiful bottle of wine. Uh, and last but by no means least, Babon. Also from Muralia, I tried this a really long time ago. I tried the 2016 vintage and I wasn't happy with it um, because it was a little bit too hot. A little bit too much alcohol fume coming at the back end of the wine. So I didn't touch it. I was there in November in the winery and uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I was really hungover. I'd been out with Gregorio and Stavros and Andrea um, the night before. <sighs> And I turned up at Moralia and Stefano went, try this! And he shoved it in my hand and I tried it and I went, oh, that's amazing, what is that? And he says, the Babon, it's the 2017 vintage. He has a new winemaker. Lots and lots of dark fruit, like black cherry. So black cherry almost kind of on its way out. Uh, dark, dark plummy flavours. It's beautiful. The heat comes at the end still, but not as much. And there's a little pepper spice kick from the Syrah. So 65% Sangiovese, 35% Syrah. A beautiful, wonderful wine. Slow roast. Short rib. Go to the butchers and ask them for short rib. Get it home, get your bacon tray on the heat, sear the meat, brown the meat on all sides, couple of them, stick them in the tin, half a bottle of red wine, some stock, cover it, whack it in the oven, 
Oh, about three and a half, four hours later. Incredible, the meat just falls off, it's still really fatty. And this works really well, it's got good acidity, good tannins, nice fatty piece of meat like that. Mm -hmm. All right, those veggies out there watching this, uh, aubergine, stuffed aubergine, I did a recipe for it a while ago, cut the aubergine insides out, chop them up, tomatoes, bit of anchovies, uh, black olives, maybe a bit of caper, stir it all together, back in, cover it with cheese, in the oven, 20 minutes or so, perfect. All right, so that's your January selection. February, we'll be going out about a week or so, week and a half. I get back from Italy, I'll be sending out the um, February wines. Probably, when am I back? 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, probably week commencing 17th, 18th, something like that. Is that right? I think the week commences that week. Not Valentine's Day week, the week after. Be the start of that week. Um, and there's something magical coming in that box. If you're a wine club member, my favourite wine from Tuscany. I've got some in the bonded warehouse. It's for wholesale, mostly for a wholesale client. I'm going to give it to you for February. It's the most incredible wine. The most incredible wine. Aged for five years. Sangiovese aged for five years in oak. It's from, in my opinion, better than any Brunello on the market. 2010 vintage. That should say it all. Uh, Nebbiolo from Piedmonte. So really kind of going out of our comfort zone, going right up north, north. Never eat shredded wheat. Northwest, um, I still do that. Northwest of Italy, Piedmonte, beautiful, beautiful wine, 2015 vintage. I took Gregorio to try it and he said to me, buy as much of that as you can. Unfortunately, I've not been able to buy a lot, but I bought enough for the wine club and some spares. Um, and Pecorino from Le Marche, from Le Valle de Sole, who I love so much. We've done it before, um, did the 2016 vintage. This is the 2017 vintage. A little bit more fire, but it's a beautiful wine. Cool, all right, um, good to see you again. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, subscribe, leave some comments.